Hey guys, it's me, Irvin. It's another unboxing video from another supporter. <laughs> According to the time of recording, I'm recording this before uh, I announce the winners. Um, there, there is a giveaway happening. Uh, by the time this video posts, more likely the giveaway has already finished. But part of the giveaway was for donors and uh, for those that support my channel. And uh, Manga Otaku sent me this box from Amazon. And uh, she messaged me uh, and uh, or, or he messaged me. I'm not really sure if it's... A girl or a guy. I, I think it's a girl, but it, it could be a guy. Uh, anyways, uh, they, they messaged, messaged me and uh, told me that they sent me, uh, I believe, four volumes uh, of manga, which really, you know, if you consider the prices uh, of manga in Amazon, it can probably total up to about $40. She didn't give me a price, but, you know, these, uh, she told me they're fairly new ones uh, for me to try out. Um, they, they um, <laughs> Mongo Otaku told me that the uh, the books that they sent me uh, are also essentially books that uh, I might um, enjoy, but different genre wise, they're all different genre wise. So we'll see uh, what what they sent me. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for them. Guys, if you haven't done so uh, while I'm opening this box, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell button if you guys don't mind and you'll be notified uh, when I go live, when I upload videos. Also, uh, make sure you comment, like, and share this video. That just helps my, my videos uh, show up more on YouTube. So I really do appreciate all of that. So make sure you guys are doing that. Uh, and then lastly, guys, if you want to uh, send me stuff uh, or donate, you guys can always become a Patreon. Um, you can always become a Patreon or you can always um, go and um, send me stuff through Amazon. You guys can ask for my address. You can send me stuff through mail or whatever. Uh, I, know, I know Stephanie has sent me a few stuff. Uh, now this person has sent me more stuff. Um, and and I'm I, I really do appreciate it. it. It does help. I know some people think that maybe um, it, it doesn't help, but it does. You know, every little thing helps. So I do appreciate that. Um, it from what I'm seeing, it doesn't look like I have any of these, and there are four of them. So let me just give you the little heart covers there, and I'll showcase each one. We'll start with probably the only one I can recognize, which is this one. Comey Can't Communicate. Now, Comey Can't Communicate uh, is highly popular manga. I never picked it up because by the time I actually got interest to Comey Can't Communicate, I think they were already on the third, fourth volume, and I'm like, eh, I'm, I'm too behind. I'm just going to get it eventually for my own uh, self. So, hey, now I have the first volume. Now I can, now I can go back to my world and actually start collecting it. But uh, from what I got... Uh, from other YouTubers that were reviewing this one. It's kind of a slice of life. It's not a four panel, but very similar to a four panel where it's just little short stories. Um, and I think she only communicates through writing, if that's right. It says, socially anxious high school student, Shokokomi's greatest dream is to make some friends, but everyone at school mistakes her crippling so social anxiety for cool reserved. With the whole student body keeping uh, its distance and, Ko and Komi unable to utter a single word, friendship might be forever beyond her reach. Yeah, so very similar to Sinyaku, which is an anime that came out not so long ago. Um, you know, it's one of those cute little stories um i think there is some type of like little love interest with the guy I, I could be wrong but that's what i kind of felt from what i heard from reviews from other people but we'll see um the next one it looks very similar to it but maybe more in the in the edgy side uh it says don't toy with me ms magatoro um and you guys can see there the background um it looks like, gosh, just from the background, um, there's no synopsis, but from what it looks like, it's uh, like Teasing Master, um, what's her name? Um, Kagari-san. Um, right here. 
Teasing Master Tagisan. Uh, this is anime. It's I think still airing uh, right now, and it looks from the from what I'm seeing in these four panels in the back that it is basically an etchy version of that. So a girl who likes to tease the guy, but it's not a playful tease. It's more of a uh, etchy side tease. So it'd be nice. I'll, I'll check it out. I I can see why. Why they were saying that they're kind of different genre-wise. So, anyways, uh, he is awesome by sending me that. I kept saying he and she. I don't know if she's a she or a he. Um, I, I would like to know <laughs> if if you are a girl or a guy. Um, not so long ago, there was another person that was in Discord that I made that question. I, I feel so awkward making that question because uh, there's, there's some names that when they're abbreviated, like Alex or stuff like that, they could be used for guys or girls. And, and sometimes they're not common in, in all the cultures, but in some cultures that I'm used to, uh, they are. So I had to make the question, like, are you a girl or a guy? Because I don't want to be, you know, insulting them if they're insulted by me calling them. I, I, almost, I almost respond, thanks, man, or thanks, guys, or thanks, uh, man. Uh, I use a lot of male uh, pronouns because that's what most, what, according to YouTube, what people see my videos is really mostly guys but we'll see um this next one never heard of um it's a vis media vis media book but i've actually never heard of this one um dead dead demons d d d d destruction <coughs> you know what now that i read the name maybe i have heard of it i don't know there, let's see what it says in the back. It says, three years ago, the aliens invaded Tokyo. Nothing was ever the same again, but after a while, even uh, impending doom starts to feel ordinary. The Japan self-defense forces are still looking for a way to combat the alien threat, but so far, conventional weapons have had no effect. effect. Maybe it's time to try something unconventional. Uh, so, okay, it looks like post-apocalyptic, which is kind of what I like. Um, this, this is... <laughs> Not that I'm not going to enjoy the other ones. This is probably the one in, in my zone that I'm probably going to like. I, I'm, I'm looking in, into the uh, artwork already and just itself. Um, I'm going to choose something where it doesn't look like it's going to be given away too much. But um, just the artwork itself, it looks like something that I, I'm used to. Uh, I'll show you this page. Um, so very, you know, dark. You guys can see that panel. It's dark. The characters are not like written or drawn to be cute or attractive or anything like that it's just it's just characters um and it's more based i'm hoping more based on the plot and just the the darkness of of the the story so anyways i'm excited for that one i don't know it, it, it i might be way off and it might be more of a comedy but it looked pretty dark to me so i like dark manga uh anyways the last one they sent me was daytime shooting star Daytime Shooting Star, um, never heard of it either. From just the drawings and, well, it's by Vis Media. Oh, yeah, it is a shoujo beat. So it's a shoujo beat, which means it's a, it, it's a shoujo um, um, series, which you guys don't know what that is. Uh, shoujo series are intended to be written for a female audience. Now, is that to say male audiences won't enjoy it? Not precisely. It's just it's intended for that audience. It's same thing like like Dragon Ball and Naruto and um, uh, One Piece and, and all these other um, shonen anime. Uh, they're called shonen because they're targeted for younger boys. Uh, but at the same time, there's still a massive amount of females that still enjoy Dragon Ball and and, and Naruto and, and all these other animes there are for boys so anyways um looks like it's gonna be a love triangle maybe love square uh after arriving in tokyo to live with her uncle susume collapses in a nearby park when she remembers once seeing a shooting star during the day a handsome stranger brings her to her new home and tells her they'll meet again. Susume starts her first day at her new school, sitting next to a boy who blushes furiously at her at her touch. And her homeroom teacher is none other than the handsome stranger. Oh, gosh. Love story between a teacher. I hope not. <laughs> um, cool. 
we'll see how this one turns out. Uh, daytime shooting star. You know, my first, very first manga was a shoujo. Um, I remember when I was in high school, there was a girl who uh, her mother used to buy her tons and tons of manga. She had a whole closet full of manga, and I, I, I didn't think it was weird. I just didn't find interest into manga. I at that time I really I didn't really know what it was, so I equivalented to like like comics. I, I was already watching some anime, but when it came to manga, I, I thought it was, you know, oh, it's it's like the comics that you make for Batman and for Superman is the same thing. So um, one time, I, I, I was a bookworm, in, in, well, not a huge bookworm, but I was a, a, kind of a bookworm in high school compared to most people and in middle school, and I was just bored of what, what I was reading already because I, I, I was reading a lot of books, and, uh, and then at one point, I wasn't reading at all because I just didn't want to read anything else. And she finally lent me one of her, her mangas, and she had a first volume, and I started reading it. And, um, and, and, and I believe it was Full Moon. I believe that that, that was a series. Uh, it was it was a shoujo, and I read it, and I really enjoyed it. And, and from there, it, I just started reading more and more. And then in college, it kind of stopped. I read some online, but not really physical copies and then once i graduated and i had my own job and money i started buying more and you know it now i have all these that i've been collecting um and and more you guys don't see the, this other part over here but uh there's more over here as well and that's just that's just the story of my life that's uh, on, on manga itself so uh thank you so much otaku um or 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 manga otaku for sending me these um i do really appreciate you for giving me all these first volumes, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna read them for you and, and and review them. I know a lot of people give a lot of suggestions, so thank you so much. This is the best way to give your suggestions. <laughs> um, they they messaged me and said, "Hey, I have some suggestions for you, manga wise." And I said, "Okay, great. Um, let me know what what you, what you want me to read." And it's like, well. Send me your address and I'll buy you some. I'm like, oh, well, awesome! So uh, they're gonna be added to the giveaway. Uh, hopefully, uh, you are uh, a winner of the giveaway, and um, the, the the giveaway will be happening, or sorry, already happened. Um, it will be happening tomorrow, but it already happening according to when this video is posted. So um, they. Make sure you check out who the winner is. Uh, I'm hoping to have more than three people. I think I think we're gonna have four people. And that's that's gonna be okay. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe. And uh, guys, like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.